Hey guys, my name is Peter Steele with pbsteel.com. I'm a developer working on my bachelor's currently, but I've been doing development for the past 10 years freelance before that. Uh, today I'm bringing you a Python tutorial. We're going to keep it short and keep it sweet. We're going to be covering the FizzBuzz program. Um, and I'm also testing out a new condenser microphone that I picked up, so let me know how it sounds in the comments below. So FizzBuzz is a very simple program. Essentially, when you... Um, go to some interviews for development companies they'll ask you to write out a simple fizzbuzz program in a language that they choose or a language of your choice and essentially what it is is they want you to iterate 1 through 100 any number divisible by 3 evenly is written out as fizz any number divisible by 5 evenly is written out as buzz and any number divisible by 3 and 5 evenly is written out as fizzbuzz so the first part of the problem that we uh, will look at is, well, we need to iterate 1 through 100. And in Python, there's a simple for loop that we can do for that. And we're just going to do 4x in range. And then we're going to do 1 through 101. Now, the reason that we have to do 1 through 101, for those that aren't familiar with the range function, range is up to but not including the last number. So if we were to actually only put in 100, it would go up from 1 to 99 and not actually 100, so you would actually um, not get the full range that you need. So the next part of the, the question that we have to look at is, well, if x is, divi or, yeah, x is divisible by three evenly, we need to write out the word fizz. Now this is where a lot of people get confused because they look at this question linearly, you know, x is divisible by three, x is divisible by five, and then x is divisible by both. But this is where you have to have some programming knowledge, and this is what uh, recruiters are checking for, that in an if statement, <clears throat> which we're going to use the if elif else uh, construct here, is that you know if it comes across something that's true, it automatically is going to jump out of that. It's not going to keep checking to see if it you know further breaks down uh, you know if it's divisible by three and by five. So you need to actually check to see if it's divisible by three and five first, because all numbers will always check true of dividing by three dividing by five or not any of those two before it ever gets a chance to hit that and uh, condition where we basically look at both so we need to do if x modulus three which modulus is looking at the remainder of the division that's going on so instead of looking at the actual result it looks at the remainder if the remainder is zero then it means it's evenly divisible if the remainder is one it is not uh, evenly divisible and therefore um, it would move on and then we need to look at x modulus 5 is equal to 0 we need to print out fizzbuzz okay pretty simple now we're going to do an elif and then we're going to check x modulus 3 is equal to 0 and then we're going to print out fizz we'll do another elif x modulus 5 zero print out buzz and then just do a simple else statement and we'll just print out x okay so it's pretty simple pretty easy all we have to do now at this point is run it so we're going to do shift f10 and as you can see the program runs successfully without any issues so 3 is divisible by itself evenly, so we get fizz. 5 is divisible by itself evenly, so we get buzz. 15 is divisible by 3 and 5, so we get fizz buzz. So we know it's working, and it goes all the way up to 100, which is buzz. All right, so again, that's the simple tutorial in Python for fizz buzz. Uh, I follow the KISS principle a lot of keep it simple stupid, and that's what we're doing here. We can get much more in depth, but we're not going to, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Again, let me know how this mic sounds. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to be bringing a lot more uh, programming content to the channel now, especially that I'm off for the summer from university. So I can actually focus on getting some videos out. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and take it easy.